Hi. Hello, I'm Mark Cartwright from Northwestern University, and I have a poster called The Moving Target in Creative Interactive Machine Learning. So in my lab, we've developed a number of systems uh, for um, that are intelligent audio production systems. So in those systems, some people interact with those systems by listening to and reading examples in a creative context. Uh, and we believe that um, in creative interactive machine learning, um, the interaction isn't just teach the system, uh, it's more of a collaboration. Um, so you might hear uh, a new example and it might give you a new idea um, and uh, it might push you in a totally different direction than you initially uh, were going in um, in terms of what your desired concept was. So um, you can think of this as uh, you know, concept evolution. And, and, Todd, another attendee of this workshop, um, defined concept evolution as the language process of defining and refining a concept in their minds and result in different labels being applied to similar items due to changes in the labeler's notion of the underlying concept. So we think this, this problem is particularly prevalent in this creative interactive machine learning context um, because you're, the idea of what you want is very less is less defined initially. And as you hear more examples, you might refine it, it might, you might have a creative leap, and um, your concept might change uh, entirely. Um, so that's kind of the idea um, here. You know, you might hear one batch of examples, refine it, you might shift, you might hear a new example that inspires a new idea, you might leap. So the problem is, though, that with machine learning algorithms, this means that you know, your labeled data, um, you have a lot of data that's labeled incorrectly, now, right? So, how do we deal with that? Um, so we really need to uh, help users both uh, define their concepts to themselves and the machine uh, while they're kind of teaching these systems. As I said, it's kind of more of a collaboration than, a, than them teaching. It. So, um, this general idea of kind of this concept shift uh, drift is uh, has been a problem in machine learning in the past, but it's a little bit different. Um, and uh, so one, we don't know the best solution to this, but uh, we're kind of proposing that one possible way of dealing this, dealing with this would be to use algorithms um, to detect this concept drift um, that have been developed before in machine learning, but those um, won't work well with the small amounts of data that we are dealing with in this context. So maybe we can um, still use this to some degree, but not say like, okay, which um, uh, data should we attribute to a particular concept, but maybe just try to detect a change. Like, uh, the system believes that you're teaching a new concept, and then querying the user, and having the user kind of say, yes, this is a new concept, or this concept has changed, um, and, then, and then the user can then indicate at what point the concept changed. Um, and maybe also, uh, aid the user with visualizations as well of the model and the model fit and um, their predictions and whatnot. So, I don't know, that's um, a potential solution, but uh, I'm open to hearing uh, more solutions. If anyone out there has ideas, please email me. <laughs> Thank you.